Blessings, everybody. Thank you for joining me today on this first workshop, Harnessing the Power of Residents and Understanding the Intention Behind this Amazing Technology that Dave and his team has put together. It is an honor to be in front of you all. Uh, as an educator, it's always an honor when I uh, am in front of gifted scholars and teaching them and inspiring them how to understand through the means of simplicity. Today, I just wanted to make sure you have an objective perspective of what this technology is by understanding who you are. I'm gonna make it about you today. I'm gonna to teach you like how I teach my kids. I inspire my kids from where they are. I inspire them because they're gifted scholars and I'm not going to talk over them. I'm gonna to talk to them and talk from where they are. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Keep it what I call simplexity. There are two types of truth, all right? There are the truth and then there is a truth, okay? No one has the capacity to tell the truth, right? We hear a lot of that in our world and I think that's what's caused a lot of dis the distortions that's happening. You know, the hate, the crime, the atrocities that's been you know, perpetrated on people. It's because somebody or someone or a collective is coming saying this is the truth. We've seen that in all aspects of our lives. We see it in the political arena. We see it in the religious arena. We see it in education. We see it everywhere. Everybody have the truth. But the fact is no one does. The truth is what we experience. The moment you endeavor to tell it to someone, it becomes a truth. And that is only a fragmentation of the truth. The truth is the divine essence itself within the creative process. So a lot of times when you hear this is the truth, it is not. It is the expression of that person's representation of the truth. Now, once you accept it, it becomes the truth for you and your, yourself and just yourself. So we want to be careful, especially as we in, inspire and empower the next generation. We want to open up, we want to create an objective mind, an objective thinking process, a growth mindset to understand that you don't tell the truth, you tell your version of the truth, and hopefully other people will resonate with it, which is what we're going to uh, talk about today. All right. So please keep this in the back of your mind as I'm going through this presentation. This is not the truth. This is a truth. Take that, put it on the shelf, and see how it's applicable to you. All right. So next thing, next slide. What is Qi Coil or I call the Qi Life technology? All right. Qi Coil is simply a cutting edge technology created by Mr. David Wong and his team of innovators. Right. David has an amazing group of people around him that inspires him, that push him forward. And what he has put together, and not just David, others in the world, what they're doing on the, on the cusp of transforming human essence and human expression is profound. So David has created this innovative quantum frequency expressions. I like to say, instead of frequency, I like to say expressions, because everything we do in life is about expressing ourselves through you know, our mental state, our physical state, and our uh, spiritual state. And this is to empower transformation in the area of health and wellness, right? So this is a self-empowering tool. How do you take a, a piece of technology and apply it to self that is unique to you and unique to anyone and everyone that uses the technology in empowering themselves? But today we're gonna to be looking at how we really utilize this technology effectively through the means of intention. So a lot of people have missed this idea that when you're dealing on the quantum level, you know. Quantum physicists are, are puzzled by this, that intention plays a critical role in manifestation. So the intention, the mentality, the mindset you take into something will determine the efficacy of it, the success of it. So I'm asking everyone out there, as you experience this technology or as you experience other, as you begin to really take a, a, a different perspective of yourself, understand this idea of intention. What is your intention in people, places, and things? How do you see people? And a lot of and there's gonna be, on the next workshop we're gonna talk about characteristics that I have defined based on that, that intentionality. I call the pigs: pride, ignorance, greed, and stupidity. Pride is typically what we have accepted as our, as our truth. Ignorance is the infinite out there that we are to explore, and greed is when we manifest our truth upon others, upon ignorance, forcefully. And then actionable stupidity is what manifests, right? So we see a lot of actionable stupidity and sometimes we shake our head out there and say, how is this possible? How can this person or that person think like that? That's because they have taken that pride and pride is simple. It's simply the things that you've accepted as your truth, 
you know, who you are. I'm black, I'm white, I'm race, whatever race you want to call yourself. That is a form of pride. My family, my community, I'm a politician, I'm a pol I'm this, I'm that, I'm a teacher, whatever you define yourself to be, that it, it comes from a place of pride. So that definition of pride is something, it's not a negative thing, it's what we have accepted. And so we put value into it. And so therefore we become prideful of that. And we want to make sure sure as we define ourselves in a unique way it doesn't necessarily mean others have to define themselves in the same way so we want to keep that in the back of our mind as we focus on our intention as it relates to ourselves to others and to things around us now let's let's backtrack what is vibration again this class this course is simple right? so we're going to make it simple so vibration the basic definition of vibration is it refers to a movement of an object around a central point of awareness that's the vibration, okay? You are a collection of vibration. Everything is a collection of vibration. We all vibrate at a unique level, right? We are all uniquely vibrating, right? So your collection of frequency or, or resonance input is your vibration. This is your blueprint. This is who def what defines you, okay? Who defines you, what defines you, whatever you, however you want to call it. So for human is our acceptable truth. Are you sickly? Do you wake up in the morning and say, I am sick? Do you claim that? That's your vibration. Okay? Do you say, I'm happy, I'm joyful? That is your vibration. Whatever you are putting out there and whatever your intention is towards yourself becomes understanding your vibration. However, there's an unconscious aspect of your vibration. You can fake the vibration, right? So you can't go out there and pretending to be something that you are not because others will see it in time. Your vibration is your natural essence. So it's important to understand where you are because as you leverage this technology, if you don't know where you are, you can cause more harm than good because what you end up doing is perpetuating what you are and what you are is not what you perceive to want. So we want to make sure that that acceptable truth that we possess, that we are aware of it. And when we become aware of it, we put our intention on it. It says, okay, this is who I am. And I love myself just where I am because all of the variables around me has defined me in this moment. I accept me. I love me. And therefore, I can now move forward because once you accept you, it becomes the beginning point. That beginning point is what you need in order to make a connection to another point. It takes two points to make that connection. A lot of people neglect where they are. They're judging, they're hating themselves where they are so they can't move forward. So then looking for quick fixes, but there's no relatability from where you are. It would be like me giving you direction from Texas to California, right? But I'm giving you directions from California. And so you're always lost. So when we see these gurus and different individuals that get on stage and they're talking about all these great things that happen, sometimes you have to ask yourself, where am I in relation to where they are? And what are those links? What are those connections? And begin to build from there. You cannot reject yourself. You have to accept all aspects of yourself and you have to practice the removal of judgments. So those acceptable truths are something we're gonna to begin to peel away. Once we accept where we are, we can say, okay, how can I let this go? How can I reinforce more of this and begin to enhance and develop ourselves in a more objective way or a higher way that we wanna perceive ourselves. Every human is a collection of vibrational rule, vibratory rules, right? So you are a collection of vibration. And now you will see, well, Mr. G, how am I to be this vibration? I'm not a bad person. I'm a loving person. I love everybody. So why is bad things always happening to me? We're going to talk about that. How are you resonating? Because you have to first accept what are your definitions outside of you? Okay. If you are perceiving everybody having a dislike or, or some type of negative expressions towards you, you have to ask yourself, how am I perceiving others? Right? It can be something as simple as how you perceive your kids, how you perceive your spouse, how you perceive the world. How do you perceive someone that is different than you, someone who believes in something different than you? Right? So we're going to talk about more about that. How do we make that connection to the self? Right? The rules, these rules and truths are defined by three major aspects, what I've come to understand. Those major as aspects are your spiritual, spiritual slash soul light based on how you, uh, how you define it to be. There's the mentality, the mind, and then there's the body. 
the soul is all that is. It's part of what we call the divine collection. It's the spark of express, expressing from within all that is. The mind is the platform by which all that is manifests the different potentiality. And then the body pulls the potentiality of those potential into reality so the body perceives that. So we want to make sure that when we understand the three aspects, we understand, okay, you can never impact your soul. Your soul is just the observer. The soul observes your experiences, right? The soul, you reflect you reflect back to the soul, and the soul creates that platform in the mind for you to have more of that experience. Soul doesn't have judgment been told differently. And again, that is somebody else's truth. But the soul is perfected. The soul is perfect. The soul is a singularity. It doesn't change. It is what it is and will always be. It is all that is and all that is not. And all that is, is expressing within physical manifestation is singularity of a single thought. We exist within a thought. So that being said, you exist in a thought to manifest more aspects. So the mind is where we tap into in order to bring more. And so the mental state is something that we're going to have to focus a lot on critically and objectively in order to transform ourselves, right? And then lastly, beyond the body is the conceptual potentiality, right? What you can conceive is the potential, but you are unable to perceive it. And so those potentials where this technology will be leveraged the most, where your intention will be leveraged the most in order to manifest the life that you desire or the life that you want or the life that serves you best, right? Every person, place, or thing has a natural frequency at which they vibrate. That is unique to you. You are the best version of you right now. You are the most perfected version of you right now. You are perfect just where you are right now. You're just trying to evolve. You're trying to evolve to something, someone, or some other aspect of yourself. But you are perfect. And through that perfection, you begin to understand this idea of imperfection. But it is an illusion. You are perfect. And loving yourself and accepting yourself will help you evolve to where you need to be. Okay. So let's go, let's break it down now in more simplistic ways. So I'm this person, I wake up in the morning, Mr. G, I'm always sick. Or I have all these problems around me. My son is disrespectful. My, my kids don't want to listen. My husband is mean. My wife is mean. Whatever definitions you have now defined those individuals to be. And all I want is just a peace of mind. I just want to wake up in the morning and just not deal with all this nonsense. And don't, don't mention the work. I have this boss. I promise you, somebody, some, I don't know who made that, but I know it wasn't God, right? So we have all these subjective perspective of people, places, and things, right? So what when we understand vibration, you understand vibration is who I am, okay? That's number one. Vibration is what I am, who I am, and all that aspect of me. That's my definition right now in this moment. Then there's frequency. Frequency is how often I feed this aspect of myself. That's critical. So vibration is who you are, Frequency is how often that is fed into you, right? So the people around you. So let's talk about, so let's make it simple. Hey, girlfriend, did you see what she wore today? Or, oh my God, that was heinous. Oh my God, that was terrible. So what you are doing in that situation is creating a frequency of that experience, right? Or it could be something that I can't believe he's seen it like that. He's going to burn in hell. That again, that's a judgment mentality that you are now drawing back onto you because you are not in that position to do that because the creative force is for you. It's not for them. You are not here to change no one. You're here to transform you so you can shift to the reality that best serves you. So the goal is what frequency is coming into me in, in order to feed my vibration. And that is critical for people to understand. The definitions you have are things, people, places, and things around you that are continually feeding into that. So that is the frequency because everything vibrates and the transformation of that vibration is called resonance. So what you are, you will begin to resonate and attract more of that to you. So if you believe that you are all good, 
you're a resident, I'm good, I'm perfect, I'm safe, sanctified, Holy Ghost, feel fire baptized if you're in a religious arena. Or you can say, I'm educated, I'm smart, I'm sophisticated, others are not. Whatever that is, that's your vibration. But for every action, is an equal and opposite reaction. So as you create that vibration, you need to see, because you are now defining yourself to be this over that, so now you have to experience a lot of that. And when you begin to reflect that, it, began, it becomes problematic for you. So those definitions of how you see people start and begins with you. It begins and ends with you. So be careful how you see your surrounding because you have to ask yourself, why am I drawing all of this to me? Because I am the creative force. I'm the creative genius within my life. So how am I pulling all of this to me? And that's where resonance comes in because resonance is things that aligns with you comes to you. Bad things happen to bad people. We've heard that, right? What are you thinking within your heart? You manifest. We've heard that. We've heard all those things, right? So the things that you define yourself to be, and that's where it begins and ends, will reflect the aspect either through duality or other, as, uh, other spectrum of what you are. Yep. So we want to understand that in the most simplistic way. So it begins to end with you. This is not talking about quantum physics. I can get into the technical aspect but it's not relatable, right? And I will be talking through you, above you, and that and that is not how we commune. That is not how we connect. It is important that we connect through simplexity or through look at the simplistic way. And the reason I take this approach, one of the reasons I'm gifted at transforming students in the classroom, because when I enter the classroom, my expectation mentally is that these are greatness destined for great things. Every one of my students are greatness destined for great things. That is the first mindset that I take into the situation. It doesn't matter if autism, it doesn't matter and, and learning disability. I take that mindset with, with a lot of conviction. And then what I do, I begin to reform or recreate the environment that is conducive for them to perceive and reflect that themselves. So I begin to build and inspire by speaking, by creating other things that inspire greatness in them. And this technology helps that because when I bring this technology in, it helps me create that environment. We will talk more about how the, the technology itself is applicable into your life in order to change your vibration, all right? Now, let's remember vibration is neither positive or negative on this level. Right? So there's no judgment. So your number one objective is to share the judgments. As a world, we need to let go of the judgment of people, places, and things. The attachment is what is holding us back and holding us down. Right? You know, when we, one of the simple way I teach people about understanding the spectrum of duality is to look at a number line. A number line represents, the line itself represents the love. Right? The love exists in all things. The light exists in all things. Love, light, whatever you want to define it to be. Right? Now, it is interesting that for every positive number I can generate, automatically the negative number exists. Those exist. So the interesting is, interesting part, people think they can teleport from positive to negative. No, you reflect positive and negative. This is why meditation tells you to come to zero because there's no opposite. When you get to zero, when you zero yourself out, when you center yourself and you balance yourself, then you begin to look at what aspect of creation do I want to experience? And you still have to follow that love, right? People sometimes do bad things through the idea of love. Some people go to war because they believe they're protecting others. However, the empathy is misplaced, right? Imagine that was your child on the receiving end of those atrocities. Right? Imagine that was your kids or your spouse or your loved one. It's hard for us to imagine, and yet we always want to take a stand on those positions. So it is important to understand where you are again and how we transform. Go to the next slide, okay? So let's look at this, this, this situation right here. This is a disclosure. This is not a young man pushing an old, old lady to hurt her. So I don't know what I'm saying. Mr. G had this old lady, this innocent old lady, and this guy just look aggressive. You look, look at him, he looks like he wanna hurt her. No, that is not the situation here. This is simply showing an example of vibration, residence and frequency. So when you look at this amazing young lady on the swing, right? She is moving on a vibratory level, right? So she's vibrating. So that movement is the vibration, right? The force that's coming. So think of that force as the chi coil or the chi technology. The force would do one of two things. 
It can slow her down or it can accelerate her, right? So those are the two options, right? You can't shift. You can't move her to another experience. Right now, that's the experience she's having. So if you wake up in the morning and you are sickly and you run abundance, you have to ask yourself, am I accelerating what I am? Because that's all this technology is going to be doing for me. It's going to be accelerating what I am in that moment. So do I need to stop and zero myself out and then shift and have a different experience and then run the force of abundance? Because abundance replicate what you are, right? So the chi coil becomes the resonance technology that your environmental condition that feeds into you to accelerate you. To make it simple, it would be like you get up in the morning, you say, I want mindfulness in my life. I want to learn how to center myself. And someone would recommend, well, you need to go find a monastery and spend six months or seven months there. And then maybe you will find your chi, you'll find your center, you'll find whatever, right? So now you have to transform from the environment you're in and move yourself to another environment so that environment becomes conducive for the transformation, right? And that's what the resident technology does. That's what Chico is trying to replicate and has done a great job doing that. Chico says rather than getting up and trying to travel to Asia or India or some part of the world in order to find that centeredness, this technology brings it to you and puts it around your surrounding which is your information field and begins to feed that into you, which is huge. Now I have the power to transform myself without having to go out there and experience something else that might be a challenge trying to get there, trying to get back or even in between. Now I can take this technology like this one behind me, I can sit in my home and I can run the necessary frequency to slow me down, change my thinking, balance my thoughts, right? accelerate my maybe my healing, if I want to accelerate, uh, accelerate the healing in my body, right? Because remember, we have the power to heal ourselves. It doesn't matter what the doctors and everybody are saying, the power exists within us. Doctors don't heal. Doctor triggers the healing, right? They activate the healing. It's a point of contact with you, but the healing begins with you. The more you rely on the doctor, the less likely you will heal yourself because ultimately healing comes from within. So the chi Chi core, the chi device, gives you that resident, that environmental conditioning that feeds into you in real time. And after a while, you begin to either accelerate what you're doing, slow down what you're doing if you want to change, and shift you to what your, your desire is. And then once you understand where you are with your current desire, guess what? You bring that, that abundance in and you begin to uh, accelerate. And it's important to understand that because a lot of people are saying it does not work. It does work. It just gives you more of who you are. So if somebody who is used to financial success, they get the cheat core, boom, tomorrow, $50,000 appear because that is a natural aspect. That's a natural expectation. The intention of that is natural for them. Whereas someone else might run the abundance and say, why am I not seeing it? Well, abundance is happening, but a lot of things have to be peeled away first. Your definitions of what abundance and success is has to be peeled away. Your, your definition of sickness has to be peeled away. So those things will happen through a synchronistic means. For example, when you're running those frequency, sometimes people, places, and things will begin to re-challenge your belief system. And that's why it's important to embrace those challenges, not reject them because reject them is remaining the same. Embrace those objective perspectives and says, okay, this is me. This is them. And this is, this is how I perceive them versus me. Now, how do I inspire me to rise higher, right? So again, to simplify, resonance occurs when an object vibrates at its natural frequency in response to an external force, like, like the young man. Okay? This principle applies to physical system and biological system like DNA as well, which is the blueprint for the human construct on the physical level. Simply, resonance happens when the natural vibration frequency of something matches the frequency of something else vibrating nearby. So be careful who you're talking to. Be careful how you're talk talking to people, places, and things. Be careful what you're watching on social media. Please be careful because if what you're watching on social media is for entertainment purpose, then the whole purpose is to be entertained. It doesn't have any impact in no other aspect of your life. Don't watch something for entertainment purpose and wonder why it doesn't affect your life in another way. Why am I emotionally shut down when I've watched all these videos, but you're watching it for entertainment. You're not watching it to inspire you to experience that reality outside of you. And a lot of times 
because TikTok doesn't really, and other technology as amazing as they are, they really don't resonate long enough with you for you to make that connection. It's quick, 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 quick. So you become reactive rather than proactive and really becoming mindful of what is happening. And that's where, this is where the scary part is for the next generation. Learning to slow down and accept the moment because only now is important. Cannot neglect the now trying to reach for everything because we end up finding ourselves lost, okay? So now resonance happening again, natural vibration happening around us. Frequency, therefore, is all about how often that situation come up. Ask yourself, how often do I feel sickly? How often do I see these definitions in me? When you begin to see more of it, you begin to understand you're vibrating on a higher level of that thing or that idea or that manifestation. So all of that you must take in mind, take a deep breath, become center and says, this is who I am. I love who I am. Okay? There's one of the things we do, I do with kids. I have them tap. I love myself because I was made perfect. I'm gifted. I'm talented. I'm amazing. And I speak this to them and I have them speak this to themselves. I am awesome. And they're tapping different parts of their body, right? They're tapping different aspects of their chakra because that intention is this is what I desire myself to be, even if it's unconscious. And something magical happened. These young scholars begin to embrace that aspect of themselves and they begin to accelerate their learning in ways that blow most people's mind. This is where we can take low performing kids, you know, ADHD, autism, and transform into gifted scholars that's performing in the top of the state, all because we have to get them to self-regulate from within themselves and understand the greatness that's within them. And that begins and ends with you as well. Next, chi qual. So there's the chi qual, there's the oracle, there's, David has different levels of this technology in order to accommodate uh, individuals out there. Chi qual uses specific frequencies, right? So we talked about frequencies earlier, right? Frequencies are the repetition that's happening in your life, right? So ask yourself, what repetition is happening outside, happening outside of you that you're pouring into you, right? Do you see when you get on, on do you watch the news? Do you feel a lot of negativity from the news into you? What do you, what, what about health issues? Do you feed all this, I'm not healthy, I'm fat, I'm over with? Do you feed that more into you and do you see, oh my God, I can't believe she looks like that. I wonder how long it took her. Lack of acceptance, trying to embrace how other people look and not understanding the beauty within you, right? So David says, what if we can take the frequency, the objective frequency that aligns with the body, natural vibration, and put it around you? What happens to you? Amazing things happen. And I will share my testimonial. And I can only share my, my truth. Okay? Not the truth, but my truth. And my truth has been consistent. But I also have seen some of the distortions within my truth. And so I'm learning to grow from it. And this is why this workshop is today. So we can start understanding ourselves and seeing how we can start to climb and grow to the version of ourselves that we can love and accept unconditionally. Okay? So there have been tremendous scientific studies on how frequency technology, PMF technology has transformed the mental state, the emotional state. And when you begin to balance the mental, the emotional state of your resonance, all right, or of your vibration, you begin to transform. The healing begins to happen, right? Because you're transforming and shifting your frequency. And this technology is all about that. This technology is about how do I give you these tools, they're just a tool, these tools, you plug in these tools and you say, okay, what frequency do I want to run? It's an abundance. It's 10,000 plus. You can, it's overwhelming. Maybe Dave and I will talk about how to get this frequency technology where you can just click or search and then you can just click button so you can find your playlist quickly. Right? But I create playlists. I create playlists for joy. I create playlists for happiness. Right. But what I was doing, what I was doing i was running the playlist for abundance because everybody was telling me run the abundance and I, and somehow the idea was abundance leads to financial manifestation or wealth and success but i've been there done that right being wealthy doesn't mean you're happy doesn't mean you're blessed doesn't mean all the things that you desire in life is given to you sometimes being wealthy is pushing the idea of continuing to perpetuate wealth and that's why we see perpetuation of that when is contentment in place. When do you say enough is enough? When do you say it's time to give more than take? At those points, 
when you focus your mind on game, 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 you lose that perspective that it's not about balance anymore. It's always about game. No one should be worth two, three hundred billion when then there, there's people in this world starving, right? When they can feed an entire country and transform the health and wellness of the entire country. But that perpetual mindset is gain, 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 gain. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's no judgment in that. I need everybody to understand. I love that. That is part of their expression, their perspective. However, physical reality has rules, causality. But every action is an equal and opposite reaction. So you, because, and, and I'm going to digress quickly. When you tap into your higher selves and you deanimate from the physical reality through whether meditative state or whatever state, you realize you're so much more than this physical spark, right? And when you begin to identify those physical sparks, you realize that it's like a balancing act. You, you come into a world where you're born into wealth and you come into another experience where you're born into poverty. The goal is to embrace and accept yourself within that, that manifestation and just love yourself where you are and find joy. And there are people who find joy in, in poverty, right? You find those people, they're happy, they're bliss. And there are other people who find joy in wealth and abundance. But there are people who are miserable in both. And the goal is to find the importance of who you are in those things. So again, scientific studies have done all of this. Magnificent. You can go and do the research yourself on PMF technology and frequency technology. Einstein, Tesla have talked about this is the future of medicine. And we're embracing that. I think Dave is on the forefront of this, which is exciting because we need someone that can go beyond popping pills, the control, the control, the control condition, right? You come into this box and I feed you this, and then it doesn't want I feed you that, and then this caused that, and that caused that. There is no self-empowerment. There's nothing about taking drugs and popping it that empowers you. How does it empower you to transform your healing? You're cold, you become codependent on that. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's another reality. And you have chosen to define yourself based on that perspective. But the moment you say my healing begins and ends with me, you'll begin to synchronize with people, places, and things, and these type of technology that will come in and promote the type of healing that exists from within you. So you become a healthier person. Right? Uh -huh. The key to success with the Chi Life technology, again, intention. What are your intention? Your intention is it is on the quantum level, it says, without a mind, physical manifestation cannot exist, right? They have had several experiments, the scientists are scratching their head, the double slit experiment and so forth, right? Without a mind, without an intention, nothing can become solid. That is a fact. What is intention is putting your mind on something. So if you say, my mind is right now on me being healthy, that is your intention. You put your intention on that, I wanna be healthy. But then ask yourself, what am I vibrating on right now as it relates to that intention? And if I know I'm vibrating low and I truly believe myself to be sickly, that's what we need the cheek oil. That's what we want to call. We want to call Dave. We want to call Boris. We want to call someone and say, listen, I'm vibrating low. I'm sickly. I need to transform. I need to heal me. I don't need, I need to heal my mental state, my physical state, my emotional state, all those aspects of me. I need to heal. You get the cheek oil run calm, run balanced. Don't get the cheek and say, let me run money, <laughs> right? Don't get the cheek and say, let me run abundance, right? You run those things that allows you to be centered because you become distracted. Because again, and then that distraction will cause agitation. You get the cheek oil to focus on what your intentions are. Then once you balance that, you create synchronicity, right? Synchronicity of, oh, I can leverage this environment to transform it. And then you begin to pour more into you. So that's what makes this thing amazing. So chi core frequency creates this synergistic effect that amplifies their benefits on you, but it begins and ends with where you are. Right? Don't, don't deceive yourself because you know the truth within you. That's why the truth exists within you and you alone. You know you, love you, accept you, then begins to heal you. Don't judge you. I had I had a, a gentleman who had STD, and the first thing when I met him, because I'm a master holistic health strategist, and I looked into his eyes and I said, "Congratulations." He said, "For what?" I said, "For the disease that you are holding on to." He said, "I'm not holding on to that." I said, "Obviously." And so we began to conversate, and all I began to hear, "I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that." So it was all on the negative, distorted aspect of 
wanted something, but he was resonating with something completely different, or he was vibrating with something different. And so I shared with them, I said, okay, in order to transform, you first have to accept that. You have to accept that there's nothing wrong with the STD within you. Whatever definitions people, places, and things has given you, there's nothing wrong with it. Love yourself where you are right now, okay? That is what your, that's your project. Go home, and for one week, before we look at anything else to solve the problem, you have one week to chip away at the judgments, the self-judgment. Just work on that a little bit, work on that a little bit, okay? And that was before the technology. Now with the technology, you can give him a piece of tool, go home and run this technology with the right intention and begin to examine the synchronicity, begin to hear people tell you that you're perfect, that you're beautiful, that you're amazing, that you're awesome. And when you begin to accept that, you begin to say, oh, I'm so much more than this definition the subjective definition that I have ingested in myself. So practical application, okay? Start your day with a positive intention by using a cheat code. Get up in the morning, find something positive that you can gravitate to. Everybody's life is unique. What are you going to gravitate to transform in your life that you feel will elevate you, okay? If it's being more calm, being peace, being joyful, whatever that is, you can run those frequencies. Those frequencies have been identified, right? Rather than going to a yogi master or, you know, sometimes going to the gym, there's nothing wrong with doing none of those things. All those things are important. The gym doesn't go inside of you. Inside of you is different than outside of you. The gym works on the outside version of yourself. And that's a manifestation that reflects back to you. So the key is focusing on inside of you, right? And so you can play these chi core frequency technology and then see how holistically you can transform you. Huh? So I want to give you my real life situation. This is crazy. And, and when you hear my testimony, I've seen consistency of it, but I also see where it, it tapers and then drops off. Huh? So when I first heard this technology, I got the mini core, right? I got the mini right here. Okay? So I got the mini. I said, I'm going to run this mini and I'm going to change my intention. So the first intention I put, I was trying to meet uh, a famous celebrity uh, for a long time. She has a nonprofit organization and I wanted to meet her. So oh, I'm excited. I'm going to meet her. And so life was only bringing me people who knew her, <laughs> wasn't bringing me in connection with her. And there's something, you know, since I've met her, we're like sisters and brothers from previous experience. It's just like we know each other for years. It's, it's the weird thing, right? So anyway, before that, I ran the frequency. I ran the frequency. I said, my intention is I want to meet this person because I think this person in alignment with me can help push what I'm trying to do, especially when in the lives of transforming the lives of young students. So I ran this for two and a half weeks. I ran remove negativity. I ran luck and I ran balance and I ran luck too. So I ran, I ran that for two weeks. And at that time I was listening to in the car, it was, it was a, amazing because I got in tune with it. And then I also was laying with this on my chest and saying, something is going to get me. Now, true story. Two and a half weeks later, I'm in the class teaching. I hear noise outside my class. I open the door. It's a huge entourage of people, about 50 people deep. And then this particular person walks through the crowd into the book. It freaked me out at first. Cause I, all I was, cause I had the cheek in the classroom in my pocket. And so I freaked out a little bit. I said, okay, that's different. And she said to me, it told me to bring my daughter into your math class because you're one of the best math teacher. I said, okay. And I'm still in shock. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then before I could say anything to her because the entourage around her was pulling her, she said, I'm busy right now. I can't talk right now, which was fine. But that, was what ignited it. I said, oh my God, is this is something to this. It's something to this. So I'm, I'm gonna run it again. I'm gonna run it this time. I had to narrow my intention. I said, I want to meet her one-on-one and I need to meet her so she can see me and I can see her and we can talk, right? And we can talk about this particular project I'm trying to do. About two or three days later, I get a knock at my class door. She said, and she comes in to pick up her daughter. Her daughter was at my, in my class at that time. And she says, she says to me, and I and, and and I know a lot of adults in here, so I'm just gonna say exactly what she says. She came in, she said, How you doing, Mr. G? I said, How you doing? My name is Erica. I said, How you doing, Erica? She said, I'm doing fine, I'm doing phenomenal, I'm doing amazing. She's such an amazing spirit. I said, Do you have time to talk? She said, I'm busy. I said, Okay, that's fair. I said, When when can you give me 20 minutes of your time? She said, I don't know, I'm traveling a lot, a lot of things happening. 
So, okay, rather than becoming codependent on what she said, I realized the power begins and ends with me. Right? So I said, okay, I accepted it. I accepted where I was in that moment as it relates to resonate with her. Right? So I said, okay, so I ran, I ran the abundance, I ran the success because my mentality had to be on the same resonant wavelength as her. So I ran that. Two days later, it was crazy how it was happening. Two days later, she showed up. She said, I'm on my way out of town, but I'll give you 20 minutes because I shared with her. I said, there's nothing wrong with your daughter. Your daughter is a brilliant math specialist. She said, Mr. G, her word was Mr. G, you full of shit. <laughs> she's a real, she's a real person. It is awesome, right? She said, you full of shit. I said, okay, give me 20 minutes. Sit down. She said, okay, I have to travel now. I have to go out of town. So I don't have no time for extra. I said, okay, you fair. She ended up staying for five hours. Five hours, right? She stayed for five hours. Not only that, we made a connection where she was more engaged in the process and the connection than it had anything to do with her daughter. So this was not even about her daughter. It was about the connection. And we talked and we we connected about how life is in general. And it was so much we had in common about understanding spirituality and different things like that. And today's day now, you know, we're friends. We're, we're real good friends, like almost like sisters and brother friends, long distance sisters and brothers <laughs> relationship. But she's cool. She's on, she's on standby. If I call her anytime, she take my call. So that being said, that was the first experience. And I said, wow, this is something, this is something amazing. So I said, I want to meet David. I want to look David in the eye, look him in the eye and say, David, do you know what this is? Right. So I got excited. I, I want to meet David. Right? And I remember I call, I had called Boris. I called a lot of people going through the line. I could never get David. David is always busy. I ran the frequency with my intention to meet David specific. I want to meet David. So I'm driving. It's about two and a half weeks. A lot of time we're taking two and a half weeks, three weeks, two and a half weeks. I'm driving. All of a sudden, my phone rings. Cell phone. A 604 number out of Canada. So I don't know who this is. I almost hung up. Then I, I took the call in away because it rang back to back. And the other person on the line says, this is David Wong. And I was wondering, could you, because David goes straight to the point. David don't have time for all the extra. You know, let's get to the point. Let's get it done. So David gets in the call and says, because this is David Wong. I say, David who? David Wong. I said, yeah, right. I said, can we do a Zoom so I can see your face, All right? So we actually did a Zoom and I saw David. David says, hey, can you do a workshop with me in Dallas because I don't have nobody else there. This technology made it possible where I was exclusively available to meet with David. Not only that, I met with David, I connected with David and I felt like David connected with me where we almost became like brothers, right? So in that moment, there was a connection and, and, and I think it was a deep rooted connection. So sometimes when you meet people, it's because your energy is aligned with them. So I told David, I said, David, do you know how amazing this technology? And I wasn't bragging about David. I was bragging about David's purpose to life, what he has created, how it's going to impact people's lives. So I took the technology. I said, we started talking. And all of a sudden, here I am working close with David. Then this is the last testimony, and then I'm going to open up to everybody else. The last one was, I've been doing a lot of brain research and brain studies on cognitive development with young scholars. All right. And so went to the same workshop with David. I got there and there was this amazing scientist, Dr. Porter. And I was intrigued to meet Dr. Porter. I said, I got to meet Dr. Porter. I have to meet this man. I want to meet this man. All right. So I didn't run the frequency with my intention. I just went to the meeting, assuming I can connect with Dr. You know, Dr. Porter because I was there. Got there. And every time I would approach Dr. Porter, there was a disconnect. Every time I would approach Dr. Porter, somebody would interfere. He was, it was like almost a dismissiveness. It was unconscious. It wasn't intentional. So I said, okay, David had this in the back. He had several other technology. I went in the back and I just saturated myself on it for two and a half hours. I just sat on it. I just put my hand on the technology and I meditated with my intention. I need Dr. Porter to give me the time to sit down and understand what I'm trying to do, the work I'm trying to do. Now, my intention was to connect with Dr. Porter so I can get feedback from his work. So, so Dr. Porter has done an amazing job with this technology called, uh, so you can see it right there. And I wanted to know more about this technology from the creator. So in a way, Dr. Porter couldn't connect. And we did this little round, this little activity where everybody sat in a circle and everybody was talking from each other. And I remember before I ran the frequency, I remember I was thinking to myself, Dr. Porter's coming around. I'm going to meet him. And ultimately after 45 minutes, the activity ended, couldn't meet Dr. Porter. It's like crazy. I was like, okay, there's something that when I ran the frequency, same day, I ran the frequency for three hours on me. I leave and go home. On my way out of the hotel, a young, 
young man stopped me and says, do you mind if I take a selfie? What you're doing with kids is so amazing. I want to be part of it. I said, okay, cool. All right. So, so anyway, I go home and then I get a call from him. He says, Mr. G, we're going to have a get together at my hotel, in my hotel suite. Okay. We're going to have, we're going to have world-class conversation. Do you mind coming and join us? I didn't know who was going to be there. I said, sure. So seven o'clock, I jump in the car, I drive. As I'm walking into the building, in, into the hotel room, another man's walking out. And when I walked in, I sat down. Guess who was to my right? Dr. Porter. And not only did we have amazing conversation, we connected on a higher level, spiritual level. Now, I understand life pulls us apart because we focus on everything that resonates with us. But I wanted to show you how this, the value of this technology. Now, once you leave that intention and you move to another intention, because we're constantly changing intention, we have, to, we have to focus on the purpose of those intentions. What am I trying to do with that? And how do I feed it often? How do I feed it more? Don't create an intention for health and then lose the intention for health and go after money. And don't focus the intention on money and lose the intention of health and go after something else. Focus on and then stay in balance with those intentions. Right? Well, I, I really enjoy sharing my testimonial and sharing the presentation. And I will open it up for anybody that have a question. If you want to jump in and ask a question, I will be able to do that. Let me see if I go to the q and If anybody, if you want to put questions in or if you just want to jump in and ask questions, that would be awesome. Michael, can we all log so individuals can jump in and share feedback, questions, concerns? Look me in the eyes and Mr. G, you fool. Okay, I see Richard Uranian. Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to butcher your name, but please uh, on, come off mute and ask your question aloud. Go ahead. Richard, can you hear me? Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Blessings, Richard. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. So I have a lot of health issues. The reason I bought this device back in December. Okay. So I, my wife died in 2019. Prior to her passing, I'd had a heart attack in uh -huh. 2007, colon cancer in 2004, prostate cancer in 2016. And when she passed, I had three cancers in two years. My first was in 2021. I was diagnosed with esophageal cancer, followed by colon cancer again, and then lung cancer. I'm currently free of all cancers and attempting to rebuild my body. Okay, so when I had the esophageal cancer, I got pneumonia and it destroyed my lungs. So I'm on oxygen 24 seven, but I'm determined to rebuild my lungs. Okay. So that's, that is why I bought this device. I'm committed to taking in charge and manifesting new lungs. So my question to you, and I, by the way, I just put it, I have the, the professional, the, what is it called? The C3s or. Okay. The S3. Yeah. Well, I just ordered the maxes two days ago. Okay. okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So I'm, you know, I believe in this technology. I have seen so many amazing, when my friends come over there in pain, I put them on, I give them the, the, the soothe frequency, everybody mm -hmm. within 15 yeah. minutes, they stand up and they go, what the hell just happened? I don't yeah. feel any pain anymore. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, it works. It just works. Okay. Yeah. So I kind of liked what you're suggesting for me. I mean, I'm not ready to manifest the lungs. I, I need to get my body functioning at a higher level. I probably need to clean out my chakras. So for someone who has as many debilitating issues as I have, again, I'm on oxygen 24 seven. I weigh mm -hmm. 105 pounds and uh, I'm 75 years old. So okay. what would you recommend would be the, the best procedure to start out with in terms of working myself up to the point where I can then start to manifest first let's begin it let's, let me begin by saying congratulations because i what i heard was not what i had right and that and that is huge right you begin to say i had this i had this i had this i had this right go ahead i'm a different person now i know so what i heard and and that's the state of my i heard what i had and a lot of people focus on what i have right and they're lost in what i have you say what i have right now the, the question you have to ask yourself well if i had this and i got rid of this that most people can't get rid of right? The world says, can I be cured? Can I get rid of? And I got rid of it. And I have, and I had this and I got rid of this. There's something about me having and letting go, right? Now, the question is, why am I drawing it onto me? So my feedback would be, you have to begin to end with you with asking yourself, what is there around you 
that is resonating within you and outside of you that's allowing you to feel that you need to punish yourself, right? Because it's a level, and it's a level of punishment, self self directed punishment. Even though you're this amazing human being, powerful human being, you can influence a lot of other people, get them excited about healing. Why is it your punishment? Now, don't answer that question, Jeff. I want you to meditate on that. I want you to spend the next 24, 40 hours reflecting on, because as I said, there's three aspects of you. There's the soul that conceives, right? the mind receives, the body perceives, right? So all of it has purpose. It's a purpose on the physical level, on the mental level, and then there's a spiritual level, right? So a lot of times we don't understand the spiritual aspect of what is happening. To us, right? We yeah. have these, these things that we have to balance and we disconnect from it. So meditate and open yourself. So run those frequencies that allows you to center yourself, calm yourself, okay? And let your higher self speak to you, right? You know, what can, frequency are you recommending specific? Go through, the, there's, there's several frequencies. There's balance, there's frequency for higher entombment. Just do a search, all right? You do a search mm -hmm. and search what you're looking for that will help you heal because your healing may have to go upwards, not externally, right? You might have to go within yourself and go upwards within yourself. So that means you have to have to talk to your higher self, talk to God in that sense. When I say higher self, I mean God, right? You, you right. connect with God and say, okay, God, what is it that I'm trying to heal? This is not a judgment from God. This is not a judgment from the devil. Right. This is right. just self-reflected process i'm showing i can conquer this i'm showing that i'm greater than this however it doesn't serve me right now i want to have a different experience right you see how simple that i want to have a different experience no judgment on this this yeah. is cool this is great this is fine Let's move on. Let's try something else i'm ready to try something else Here. yeah so <laughs> redirect redirect don't focus on the healing because that which you resist will persist okay Focus on what after the healing will bring you. What do you want after the healing? And that's a question. What do you want after the healing? Yeah, I just want, I just want to be able to move around the world freely and show my love to other people. That's all I want, and help help heal other people from what I've learned in my adventure. So you want to love, you want to share love with the world, and you want to experience the world more without the distortions of that holding you back. Now the question is. Focus on the question you have to ask yourself, what do I need to focus on? Where which frequency do I need to focus on that will allow me to see the manifestation, not the problem, not address the problem, but look at the outcome. Run the love, run love frequency. There free, there's several frequency that promotes love, right? Self-love, oh. external yeah. love. Run those as well. Run the frequency that allows you to get perspective. Sometimes traveling doesn't mean you have to physically leave to go somewhere. You can travel right. within your mind and go to beautiful places and yeah. learn the habit of of uh, traveling and sharing that thought with yourself and love yourself in that experience and see how that will guide you to the next manifestation. Okay, so rather than focusing on like the pineal gland, you would say, choose a frequency that fo fo focuses on self-love. Self-love. All right, so can you give me a specific frequency? I didn't recall, recall seeing when it was on self -love. So what, what we can do, you can reach out. I, will, I can give you guys my email address if you want to, uh, send a, a request and then what I would do I would give you share those ideas with you so my direct email address is Josie uh, if you want to write J-O-S-S-I-E at she life store com so email me and let's let's collaborate and see what we can do because your life is just as precious as any other life here and your experience is just as precious and so I would do whatever I can do in order to support your your journey through that I am totally believing in your technology. I mean, I've seen, I've already seen enough to don't know it works. It's just thank you. saying it correctly. That's all. Thank you for sharing your testimony with yeah. the technology. And thank you for sharing your journey as well. That is, that speaks volume to me as well, knowing that we can speak in past tense as it comes, as it, as it relates to our challenges and trials and tribulations. So thank you for sharing those challenges that you went through so we can understand that we too can go through and overcome those things as well. Thank you, Josie. Really appreciate it. Be blessed. Thank you. All right. We have Ron. Hey, this is Ron. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Ron. How you doing? Hey, good. This is Ron from Dallas. And I was wondering, so uh, what I heard you say is to zero yourself out, listen to calm and uh, maybe even soothing or imbalance. And do you listen to those for a certain amount of time or just the amount of time that the frequency is? 
sometimes I run it overnight, right? Because with the cheat claw, there there is no negative adverse effect to running it. So I run I run it with the Oracle, I'll run it overnight, or with the cheat claw, I would lay it on me and just run it overnight, I'll lay it next to me and just run it. Uh, I will run the balance. I do a lot of the remove negativity. That seems to speak more because I, I'm originally from West Africa and being born in, Af in West Africa, there was a lot of atrocity and a lot of you know, nonsense for me that still fragments my, my perspective of reality. And so mm -hmm. what I need, what my belief system is remove negative, remove negativity because that's how I was raised. The world is evil. The world is bad and all that distortions, right? So I need to remove my mentality to see that. And so I do a lot of removal of negativity and then I do a lot of luck. Now luck has a different effect. So luck is not about how we define luck. Luck is shifting. It's a shifting frequency. It shifts your resonance, right? It shifts your vibration. So I do luck one, luck two, and, and I run those. So I, I, I love the luck frequency because it helps me shift perspective and it allows me to see a different version of me. So that's something I do run the calm. I do run the balance. And then I usually will attack specific uh, distortions if I'm trying to work on something. But for the most part, my to go to is the luck frequency. I use that uh, all the time. And that's what I see. Even all the advanced frequency, I always go back to the luck. Now I have all the frequency. I still go back to the luck. And do you, uh, when you're doing, setting your intention after zeroing yourself out, do you play a frequency when you're sitting there? I want to meet, you know, Obama or whatever, you know, whoever you want to meet. Yeah. So, so here's what's interesting, right? So you might say, I want to meet Barack Obama, right? And you run a frequency and then you turn the TV on Barack Obama's on the TV. You just met him. Right. So uh, be, <laughs> be careful with the intention, right? Because people sometimes like, I didn't meet the real man. You did. You, you connected with him, right? There, there's connection. So on the energetic level, it's all about connection, right? So what is the purpose to meeting Obama? What is the significance for your life meeting him? How is he going to inspire your life and try to help you transform your life? We we have to stop putting people on pedestal, right? Because we're all equal. We're all the same, right? We're all here expressing uniqueness, right? And so no one is above you. No one is beneath you. So when you understand that mentality, it's not about meeting Barack or meeting a celebrity anymore. It's about if I meet this person, how does it make me feel about myself? And how can I hold on to that? Because once I meet them and they leave, can I still hold on to that residence, right? So the mm -hmm. goal is we, we become in tune with meeting people, but we never hold on to how that person can impact you. And a lot of times when you meet them, sometimes they're ugly people, right? Well, as that's my subjective perspective, based right. on some people I've met, they're just mean, they're contagious, they're, they're just mean, 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 right? And so what I have to do is says, okay, I needed to see that that person also have a journey they have to go through or they are going through. So it's not about meeting the celebrity, it's not about meeting influencer, it's all about what is the significance of this person feeding into me and allowing me to be the best version of myself. So running those frequency with your intention is critical, but what is the significance of the intention? What is the final outcome? So focus on the final outcome, not the connection as much because the outcome is what you will be internalizing more than anything else. So when you're thinking about that, you are folk, you are playing in a, fr a frequency when you're thinking about that? Yes, I, I will sometimes I'll run the frequency all the time, you know, like in the house. When the, for example, the Oracle is 3,000 square foot, so I, it's, it's everywhere in the house, so no matter where you are in the house. But if I'm doing just this, then when I'm sitting, sometimes watch when I'm watching TV, I, I would turn it on if I'm reading a book or if I'm doing whatever work I'm doing. As an educator, I'm always doing some type of work, and I'm running those frequency. Uh, I run the brain frequency when I need to concentrate. So the Depend on what I need in that moment, I'm, I will target those frequency. But my intention is always with me. My intention is not meeting people, places, and things. It's to have the best experience with people, places, and things. Got it. One last question. Is that my eyesight, my 54-year-old man, my eyesight's getting bad. My left eye is starting to go bad. My right eye, I've had a cataract, but it's getting uh, foggy and, and using the rife technologies would you also do the same thing you know zero yourself out with calm or balance and then turn on the rife uh frequency and then how would you visualize my eyes uh, the, the, my desire for my eyes to heal okay. 2020 so, vision 
Okay, so that's always a perfect. That's, I, I can promise you, this is a fact. But every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction like this right now. That's a fact. Okay, don't okay. let nobody tell you otherwise. You know, we hear people say that there's no cure for this. The idea of cure is an illusion, right? It's a distorted illusion, fragmented illusion. For every action, this is physics. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That is science. So that means that if you have distortion happening, the answer already exists. I love how it's expressed within the construct of. Christianity, you know, and not just Christianity, it was long before Christianity when they adapted it. Right? It says, there's the idea of faith. Faith, it says, now faith is, not faith to be. Now faith is the substance. That means something tangible, lacking the sight up. So that means that that something exists, I just can't see it yet. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do to align myself to see it? And that's sometimes going inward and aligning with the idea that I want to see, but what is the purpose of wanting to see? What is the purpose uh, for your life? What is the purpose of wanting to do this? What is the end result? I want to see my kids better, or I just want to have 2020 eyesight so I can say I have a 2020 eyesight, right? So a lot of times when I go through experiences where I see the frequency is not working, I have to ask, what is the purpose of this? And then I accept it. That's the first thing, acceptance. Accept where you remember we started at the beginning of the conversation. Accept where you are. Or if you have not accepted it and love you with it, then it becomes difficult. It becomes you chasing things, trying to create a quick fix. You never really find peace within yourself to solve the problem that you're solving. So accept, love it, and then be okay with it, be okay without it. That is hard to say, and that allow the frequency to guide you. And then if you are resonating, the res when you resonate, it's unconscious. It's not a conscious. See, a lot of people with the law of attraction talks about thought. But that is not the truth. I wouldn't say the truth because the truth is direct from any perspective. But what the fact states is that it's not the thought, what you're vibrating on, that draws mm -hmm. to you. We talked about it at the beginning. A lot of people want to have these thoughts for these moments and why it didn't happen. Well, that's not how that works. Because the truth is within you. You know the truth. You know you're not, not in a lie. You know why you broke, busted, and disgusted. You know why you're sickly all the time. You know that. Because sometimes it is the judgment you need to heal from. Sometimes it is the hurt that you inflict on other people. Sometimes it is the disrespect that you pour out there on people. All those things is something you need to heal from. And so I always say, go back to the judgments within your life and begin to peel that away. And you'll begin to see that the, the, the frequency will create where you'll begin to see people, places, and things guiding you in the direction. And all of a sudden, you will find the solution like overnight. And that solution... Sometimes may not come from the cheap well. Cheap well is a guidance. The solution might come from somebody saying, oh, I got this new eye drops, put it on. Your eyes will change. And then all of a sudden you're like, how come I didn't know about this? It always existed, but you weren't in alignment. That's right. what the cheap core power is. It gets you in alignment. And so it, the cheap core is not the all be all. Nothing is the all be all. You are the all be all. Cheap core is only a conduit to allow you to synchronize with what you want. Okay. So play, play, play the ground yourself then play the right frequency and then focus on the purpose of really but clear yourself first of any judgments and negativity possibly and then do that is that what i heard you say absolutely start with you ends with you awesome thank you so much be blessed thank you we have kathy lessons kathy hi there yes How are you doing today kathy thank you so much for the great presentation i've been working coils on the resonant lawn for about three years now okay. um, with, with a pretty big break in between due to some personal issues where I wasn't able to access the technology and I'm fortunate to uh, be able to get them back. It's very complicated. But my question for you is when I joined, I joined as an inner circle mm -hmm. member. So a long time ago, and I'm now using my, you know, the technology again and I was curious, like, do you recommend, like, for example, I have specific outcomes that I'm looking for and, but I wasn't sure if I should focus on using the inner circle frequencies over the quantum and over the right. And even the right ones, I don't normally use unless it's like a very specific, like I used it on my friend called for fertility. And then um, working with a friend of mine who has breast cancer, I'm sorry, it's cervical cancer. And so that specific frequency is in the right system. So I use that. But aside from that, like, I always thought the inner circle frequencies were more potent and stronger to use. But what do you recommend? How do you, how do you recommend deciphering which 
frequency so, to choose when to go for the for the inner circle ones versus the higher quantum ones. So I try not to compartmentalize. Right? So I will call out. So make sure you get the update because the updated version now have. I don't know if you can see this. On the very top, it has the Rife also built in with the quantum, right? Which is huge, right? So I have one app now. I'm not switching back and forth. You probably, I don't know if you have that or not. So oh, I yeah, I don't. Thank okay. you. Yeah, so get yeah. that update. So I simply will go to the search bar and type whatever I'm trying to target, right? If I'm trying to target calmness, I will go in here and I would type in calm, right? And it will bring all the albums relating to calm and some is in all the different categories. I just go through them. And sometimes the, the, the intention was synchronized and what you're raising was synchronized, what speaks to you. And then I will click one, like for example, for calm, I will see relief anxiety. And I'll say, oh, that is what I need. I will hit that, right? And then I'll run that for a little bit. Or I might see balance, uh, clarity. Like I'm autistic, right? You know, severely, but under control in a way where I leverage it to accelerate my ability to be the best version of me. So when I see that, I might say, oh, I see the autism frequency. Let me run that as well, because I need to be centered as it relates to that. And I see calm, I see calm before, and then I see essential oil for peace and balance. So I would just test them out that way. But I, I narrow, so I'm not searching all over the place trying to find and read everything. Does that make sense? So I allow those lists to come to me, and then I'm able to leverage those. Does that make sense, Kathy? It does. How does the, the the inner circle frequencies look like on the new system? Oh, they're pretty much this, they run the same way. So if we go to the quantum and we go to the inner circle, all the frequency is I create a playlist. You know, you just hit the three dots and create a playlist for all the frequency. And so I, I go through the programs and just create those necessary playlists. At least when I'm training people, I get them to click the three dots and add it to your to your playlist and create a unique playlist for different things that you want to resonate with, right? Because remember in the real world, we're resonating with people, places, and things that's all resonating differently, but they're, they're aligning with us what best aligns with us, what we're resonating with. So we might see something exciting, but it doesn't really feed into us because we're feeling different. So when I look at these frequencies, I'm just creating a playlist for joy, happiness, calm, and a lot of times I have, I, I don't focus on the physical and that's something maybe I need to do, like the Rife. I understand the Rife technology. I've used the microcurrency. I've used the, the wave. I've used different technology. However, I focus on the inner. If I can get the inner, I begin to see more results with the inner than I have seen with just trying to target externally. So the higher frequency works. And then if I need to just target something externally quick, quickly, like pain, then I'll run the Rife. Or if I need to calm my thinking and just try to zero me out, I might run something on the right, but I might also run the quantum or even the higher quantum. Differentiating is going to depend on who you are and how you're resonating with the technology. Thank you so much. That was really helpful. I hope you, you have a good day. So get the updates, request the updates, and I'll, I'll talk to David how we can send out the update for everybody to be able to update their technology, yeah, especially yeah. the inner circle individuals. Anybody else have questions? If there are no other questions, so what next week workshop uh, is going to be more about? Okay, I see Linda. There you go. Blessings. I see Linda. Okay, they're coming in now. Here we go. Linda, you are. Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you now. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing good. I I have the the right. No, I have the chi coil max. Okay. And then the you, I, the, through the phone, but I okay. haven't had a chance to use that. I haven't really practiced with it a lot. My husband had passed away and, and I was kind of busy with that. So now I am starting it and I do Reiki as, as well, an energy healing. So mm -hmm. I've been asked by a studio if I can use the equipment in their studio that is your technology right if you purchase the technology you can always go in and model the technology for others so you can inspire them as well so if the studio is asking you to bring the technology to see the efficacy of it i would say take it in there and share it share it because remember you're sharing energy 
always start with the basic when you run in there, run the, the calm, run the, the balance, uh, run those basic first. Don't go in there trying to do abundance because you never know people who are in there, what they're dealing with, and you don't want them to deal with more abundance of what they're dealing with. So as you're in there, look for the, you know, the purpose, uh, what is, and then add the intention to why am I bringing this technology in here? Remember, we are not here to save the world. And that was a mistake that I made for many years. I spent my whole life believing I can save and change the world, and that is not so. We're here to find ourselves within all that is, to find the best version of ourselves within all that is. We can call it God, just mm -hmm. searching and seeking yourself. So as you go out, don't go out trying to seek to change uh, this because all you're going to do is resonate with most people coming to you with problems and that problem becomes a uh, resonance that you become attached to so be very careful how you deal with people outside of you as it relates to trying to save people because I, I i've had the messiah complex for a long time um, and and i had to go through <laughs> healing to let go of that as well so look for your intention what is the purpose of taking it there and how you want to inspire your light in order to support others to find that light and ignite it and, you know, enhance it. So with those frequencies, as far as the frequency is concerned, just look for, you can search, search words. And that's what I love, love about the technology. You can search words, happy, right? You can enjoy, you know, put those words in the search box and you know, make it simple. And I hear people trying to make it technical. Life is not about the technical aspect of things. You know, that, that's subjective perspective. Know who you are and speak your language speak your life speak your truth your truth is i believe in simplicity that's my truth i will put joy in there find out whatever frequency i don't care the name of the frequency I just put joy and i say oh this one said make you happy make you smile okay click that let's run that and see what happens right and then i hold my intentions to that and i appreciate the us because that's a good place to start is there any type of training that you guys have for this type of thing, for people who who want to bring it out in classes or for other people, and that's what this course is going to end up be, becoming. So as we go through this, this was just an introduction to everybody to get to know me. So as Chi, Chi Life Foundation, I'm the academic director, uh, so I, a director by academic services. So my job is to empower and inspire and educate people. So I will be using this platform, you know, in the future. So the next couple of calls that we may have, it may just be you guys say, okay, let's do a training on how to pull the frequencies up or how to leverage that. And we can work on that because this is, this is you guys as a platform. This is not for me. This is not me trying to showcase me. This is me introducing myself and to you guys and uh, ladies, gentlemen, and say, listen, this is our, this is our uh, community. You know, uh, what can we do to help grow the community mentally, physically, and spiritually? So we here, and then it might be other individuals say, well, I have a better idea, Mr. G. Can I share my screen? Go for it. Share your screen. So we'll find ways how to bring you on as a panelist if you have better ways to share the wisdom. You know, no one knows more than everybody else. Collectively, we become stronger. So this is what this platform is going to be ultimately. So you will have the support from within here. Okay. Is there a way, I, I know you gave your email out to someone else. Is there a way that I can get in touch with you and kind of... Yes. And so if, if you Google, if you Google Chi Life and just type my name, Josie. So my, 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 my email is Josie. You know, there's also, there's a form David sends out. I'm going to have David send everybody here a link where you can join a community and I'm part of that community. And you can just send me a private message in the community. It's like a LinkedIn kind of a thing. And you can, and just for us, and, you, and I can be able to engage. And I don't have a problem meeting with someone one-on-one -on -one via Zoom and guiding you through the process because I want to make sure you're empowered and inspired to use the tool effectively. This is not just about selling you a piece of technology. This is about you taking a tool and transforming not just the, the aspect of yourself, but also your surroundings. Okay. And what was the rest of that, Josie? Josie at chilightstore.com. Okay. J-O-S-S-I-E. And I, I do, I'm part of the community. I just started like signing up for everything. I purchased a lot and the emails came in and I just kind of put them in a folder. So now I'm going through everything and and getting signed up. I did send something to support through the QI yeah. because I it doesn't recognize my email, so I can't sign in to utilize that. 
So I'm waiting to hear back. So are you having difficulty with the technology itself, turning on it or leveraging and using it? What What is the, the biggest thing you have right now? I haven't done anything with it. I basically paid for it, got the email. And then when I click on the link to go to the, the site and it says sign on username and password, I thought, okay, I don't know what the username, you know, so I click forgot password and I put in my email address and it doesn't recognize it. We have a tech support because my, my role is a little bit different, uh, differently mm -hmm. all, but I don't mind supporting. So when we do that, we reach out to tech support and see if tech support will be able to help you as it relates to that. If not, go to the community and reach out because my I'm in the community, David's in the community. There are people who are hired, you know, and I can if you can share that with me, I can I can have somebody, I can direct somebody to help you as quickly as possible. Boris is also in that is really phenomenal, amazing. Mm -hmm. So go in fact you can also request a consultation with Boris because you have invested. We want you to invest in the technology and use the technology. The purpose is not for you to buy the technology and have it on the shelf. Right. So reach out to Boris. I will ask David okay. to put me on the calendar and you want to request a time where I can jump on 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes with you. I'll, okay. I'll, that's that time to make sure that you're using the technology. That, that'll be great. Yeah. And Boris is, is great. I just unfortunately purchased all these things. And like you said, they kind of are on the shelf and I've been just storing the emails in a folder and now going through all the links. <laughs> We, we definitely don't want that. We don't want no one to purchase technology and not utilize those technology. That is not the purpose. At least that is not what my intention is for anyone that buys this technology. Buy the technology, use it for you and your family, support you and your family, encourage others to get there so that way everybody's in power. So right. that's going to be my push. And so we want you using that technology. So I will, I will do my best to reach out to you. If you reach out in the community and find my name is in there, or email, okay. make sure I respond to you and try to get to you as quickly as possible, okay? Okay, great. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'd be blessed, okay? And I believe it's Louise or Louis. There. How, how you doing, Miss Louise? Good, good. You know, I don't have a unit. It's just a unit last year, and I ended up returning it, which I kind of regret. And uh, I'm an acupuncturist, and I don't know if you're familiar with Avazier. Uh, I ended up buying an Avazier for, like, the upper line for, like, $5,500, but I wish I had now kept the the cheek oil. But okay, so I would like to buy a, a cheek oil, but I'd like to go start with the lower end. And yeah. as I build, I'm an acupuncturist and I need to build my practice. And yeah. so I want to know, I'm sure I'll be able to afford a higher end after a while. I want to know what's the basic that gives me as, I mean, of course, the higher the, the, the models, the better. What's the bottom line? So there's the mini. And I, I never, I want people to get what is best for them. Remember, you said you want this for your practice. You know, mm. what oh. you need for your practice, what is behind me more. Right? You want the aura core. But as you said, that's more. Well, for me, for me to, uh, first of all, for me, okay. to, to become, a, to believe more in myself. Okay. So you, if. If look at your affordability, I, I never want to be part of something that sells something or someone that is beyond that affordability. But you said, and I, I purchased fifty five hundred because someone sold it to you and it wasn't what you needed. So we do have to. No, the thing is, that's not I needed. It's like I had regrets. It's like the the buyer's remorse. Okay, I understand. So there's the S and then it's the max. So look. And, and but may I say something? Uh, I lift my head. I lift my head to the company because I had no problem returning it. The shoe was more custom than anything else. Okay, so if you go if you go online, if, did you still have the app, or you? Well, yeah, I, I purchased the telephone app. Okay. I purchased okay. the the monthly of the okay. telephone. Okay, so you got the telephone app. Did you get in the frequencies? Not really. Okay. Okay. So. Well, yes, I have. I have, but I have a second in the background, but I don't have. Maybe it's like you say, you need to set your intention and. Uh, be part of it, you know, yeah. instead of being like just it be in the background where who knows, you know, it's like so here's the screen. If you look, if you go to the cheese store, you will see where they have the mini and then the dual mini, and then you'll see the I believe the three S and then the Chico Max, and then you'll see the different frequency. And so 
you can pick and choose individually. If you say, I want to just get the, the technology right now, and I want to start with the basic frequency, and then you can go and add to those frequencies. You can go and go through the frequency list and just purchase exactly what you need and find those frequencies. We always want someone to get a collection because you never know what else you need to transform you. So you might say, okay, I got the frequency, I got the basic, but then I want to increase from the resonant console one to two or to three because I see some other frequency that I want to use. And then you can put your investment in that. So I will say, go to the website, look at look at your options and see what best serves you. The F, the three S is a, is a good start if you want to start from there because it allows it to go not just always close to your attachment. You can put it you know, on your table and while you're working, it will support not just you, but your clients as well. So you can begin to work with that and the Max will be able to push and support the entire room. That's mm -hmm. another thing that Max can do. And then and, and the Aura, of course, your entire facility or even in your entire house. Three S is three feet or six feet? Yeah, I believe is it goes up to six. And if you, you can also get the power source to enhance its power, right? And so that's also online. These are some of the resident power kit. You can get the, the kit right there. So that can add a little bit more power to it. Well, I always recommend don't put it on max. So anybody out there, please keep it around 75, 85%. And that will still give you the same level of success on it. So you can do that as well. Another thing I usually recommend, say get the magnet. I use the magnet as well. So the magnet's on there. That mm -hmm. allows a pull to allow the frequency to pull towards you as well. Where do you put the magnet? I use, me personally, I usually sometimes will attach it to my wrist, right? I sometimes will attach it to the back of my neck here. And I put it on different parts of my body and just, I just go about my day, you know, and, and that's, that's me. That's my preference. And I feel like I'm drawing it. And then sometimes when I'm asleep, I'll put it next to my bed. And while the coil is running, I line it where it can pull towards, you know, towards that to, through me. So I do a lot of things where I'm still, I, I'm testing it for me, right? Because I'm unique. You're unique. As you're testing it, you know, especially someone who works with energy, you know how energy is. I work mm -hmm. a lot with Reiki Master and manipulating the energy and the prana and different things. Everybody's unique. Everybody, you know, tangle up differently and different things like that. And everybody feels it different on the energy. So it's what is unique to you that allow you to unravel and refine your energy. So mm -hmm. you can leverage your technology the best way. You know, this remember this is what this is an educational workshop. And we have a sales team. You can be in contact with us online with you know, Boris and others are online ready to consult with you and what is best for you for your practice. But I want to make sure that you always begin to end with you. What is best for you that was going to serve you? So you get the technology, it empowers you, and you want to get more of the technology so you can empower beyond you, others around you. So yeah. And, and as far as the magnet, do you put the south or the north pole on you on you? I've tried both. Some so, <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes I will put I'll put north on one, I'll put south on the others. I try to mix a match and sometimes I, I see results other times, you know, it, it's hard when you're trying to look at the physical manifestation because energy work is a little bit deeper, especially on a quantum level, especially on a, on, on a deeper level. It begins, it, it pulls the information, your information field, right? It's not going in there, attaching you and moving you and shifting you. It puts in your information field and it feeds that. And that information field begins to transform you from within. You begin to become, more so. so what feels right too what if it feels right when you put it on or, or you know your intuition exactly exactly so everybody's unique so some people use the north some people use the south i put it on and so i do alternate and i see how i feel sometimes i'll do north on uh, one day and i'll do south on all the day and some days it doesn't matter i just put it on <laughs> right so because <laughs> my intention is i'm gonna put this on and draw the energy onto me and that is just my intention in that situation is it north like you add and south, you you sedate, you you reduce. I believe so. David has a video on more to tell you the technical aspect of it. I haven't really got into depth of it. I just use it to draw more. And my intention is when I put it on, I want to draw the frequency more into me. But the magnet itself does healing itself without the technology. But I I leverage the technology to create to create the magnetic pull more for for me. And so you might want to talk to. Uh, Look on the online. David has video training on specifically how he has leveraged. David is the expert on how to really manipulate this, and I and I learned a lot from him on how to do that as well. 
So I, I test it. When you say online, is it like on YouTube? You, I go on YouTube and yeah. you have press. Yeah. Okay. So what? How do? Okay. How? What? YouTube. You type his name and then. Yeah. So David Wong, or you can go to the cheese store, and I believe it, it has. We have the videos online. So. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I think I have. Let's see if I have any questions. Ask questions. Are there any other? Okay. There's another individual going to see. Go ahead. I don't want to butcher your name. I'm so sorry. How do you pronounce your name? You, you see me? Yosemite. Yosemite. How are you doing? Blessings. I just wanted to ask, because I I haven't purchased the product or anything. I just got on through the emails on this. But what's the difference between your frequencies and just like YouTube frequencies? Because you I YouTube? listen a lot to like, yeah, like I listen a lot to like YouTube frequencies. So mm -hmm. we're like overnight, it'll be like love or abundance. And then I do feel like way better. But I just want to know what's the difference. Well, the difference with this technology, a lot of times we require to listen to the sound. But the technology is designed to allow you to feel the frequency, right? Where there's no sound, right? And sometimes you may not want to listen to the, the, the audio. If audio is good for you, then you can listen. These these quantum frequency can agitate some some people's ear listening to it because it makes like weird sound. But David has found how to attach on the you know the on the I want to say the decimal level of the frequencies and try to get deeper into the quantum. He has these different layers. He does. He can tell you more about the technical aspect of it. But he goes deeper with the frequency than just listening to a wave sound. And so these frequency goes beyond the wave. It's like it creates more three-dimensional right, embodiment mm -hmm. within you. So I would say, that's, look, uh, do some research on, on uh, Qi Coil and Qi Life. Go to the website. But the technology for me, because I've looked at different technology. I've looked at technology where I started with the sound, right, just like you did. And I went to microcurrent, which I had vibration in there. I felt the sensation. I've used different technology using microcurrent. And I needed something that wasn't always attached to me. I need to something that is also quiet. I can just have in the background and I can do other things without it being distracting. And that's where this technology comes in more for me. Right? Everybody's different. So if you feel good with listening to the audio, I would say give this a, a, a shot and see how it helps. Because remember, as I said at the beginning, this is a transformative tool. This is a tool that has a collection of how do I become something without having to leave my home to be that. I, I don't need to go to a monastery to meditate for 30 minutes. I can run the meditative frequency and I can put myself in a meditative state in an hour. I, I can do that from home. I've been to a Vipassana meditation center where I spent 10 days. So no talking, just meditating in the morning, in the afternoon, night. Loved it. It was best experience. I, I, I was... It was amazing for me. You know? Being able to synchronize with people, places, and things, even nature and plants and animals, everything was just in tune with me. It was beautiful. However, that's 10 days. And that 10 days also taught me how to eat right and how to eat nature, how to love nature in that way. But everybody can just get up. And a lot of times when you request, you can't get there, right? It's everything's always busy. So now I rely on this technology. I go and pull this technology out, allows it to run. And, and I put myself in that state. And when I run, the meditative state and, uh, and the meditative state is zero now in me in that center place where I don't have those attachment thoughts running everything else and I begin to become more creative in what I need to do. So again, it's up to you. I will definitely look more into the technology, go online, you know, do your due diligence and listen to those testimonials. Uh, people are responding positively about this technology. And again, I'm presenting to you. I'm not saying this is the all be all, but this is a tool that is very inspiring, empowering. And that's why I'm grateful for David and his team for designing. Okay, thank you. Most welcome. I know we have gone over, but what I wanted to do next week, so next week, uh, objective is going to be more focusing on us and building from us outwards. So we're going to be looking at some of those internal uh, distortions that's holding us back. We're going to be talking about that. And then we're going to be looking at some frequencies on if I'm feeling this way, what frequency should I go to and so forth? So we'll get more in depth with the frequency. And it's going to be more informal. So when we get on, I'm just going to be quick uh, with, you know, how we're living. Because going back to that, what I said at the beginning, going back to that self-love, that acceptance, that joy, that peace of who we are, finding that centeredness. 
and then and building outward from that. Uh, and so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about pigs, pride, ignorance, greed, and stupidity. We're going to be looking at our pride. What are my pride? Because pride is easier for the understanding who we are. What things am I pri proud of? Proud of my family. Why? My family better than other family. I love my family. Do I love my family more than other people? You know, those are the pride. We want to address those pride. And then we also want to address those ignorance. The 99.999% aspect of ourselves that we don't understand. We want to understand that as well later. And then we want to say, how do I take my pride and be able to synchronize with my ignorance and be able to explore uh, and expand beyond myself. So I'm not just always subjective with my pride. Because when I have my pride and I neglect ignorance, my ignorance, it leads to a greed factor, wanting everybody to be like me, and then also leads to actionable stupidity. That's how we begin to do and, and express distortions that impact people's lives in a distorted, negative way, as we define it to be. So thank you for co-creating with me. You guys are amazing, and I want you guys to be part of this community. And let's grow this community, and let's inspire. You know, for those people who are challenging the system, and that's, that's their definition. Allow them space to have those definitions. At the end, we know what we feel. We know what we're going through. And let that be enough to grow us and inspire us and transform us. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for spending the hour and a half with me. And I look forward to next week's session. Y'all be blessed. Be amazing, okay?